The King James Bible, the Proverbs, chapter 22. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together, and the Lord is maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and by fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the forward. He that doth keep his soul shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. He that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity, the rod of his anger shall fail. He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth of his bread to the poor. Cast out the scorner, and contention shall go out, yea, strife and reproach shall cease. He that loveth pureness of heart for thy grace, of his lips the king shall be his friend. The eyes of the Lord pres preserve knowledge, and he overthroweth the words of the transgressor. The sloth slothful man saith, There is a lion without, I will be slain in the streets. The mouth of a strange woman is de a deep pit. He that is aboard of the Lord shall fall therein. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Bow down thine ear, and hear the words of, thine, of the wise, and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. For it is a pleasant thing if, if thou keep them within thee. They shall withal be fitted in thy lips. That they, that they must trust it be in the Lord, I have made known to this day, to thee this day, even to thee. Have I not written to thee excellent things and counsels and knowledge, that I might make thee how the certainty of the word of truth, that thou mightest answer the words of the truth to them that send out, send unto thee? Rob not the poor, because he is poor, neither oppress the afflicted in the gate. For the Lord will plead their cause, and spoil the soul of those that spoiled them. Make no friendship with an angry man, and a furious man shalt, thou shalt not go. Lest thou learn his ways, and get a snare to thy soul. Be not thou one of them that strike hands, or of them that, that are sureties for, for death. If thou hast nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? Remove not thy ancient landmark which thy fathers have set. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. Chapter 23 When thou sittest to eat with a ruler, consider dilig diligently what is before thee, and put a knife to thy throat if thou be a man given to appetite. Be not desirous of the dainties, for they are deceitful meat. Labor not to the rich, cease from thine own wisdom. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Eat thou not the bread of them that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. For he, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. The morsel which thou hast eaten shalt thou vomit up, and lose thy sweet words. Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Remove not the old landmark, and enter not into the fields of the fatherless. For their Redeemer is mighty, he shall plead their cause with thee. Apply in thy heart into instruction, and thine ears to the words of knowledge. Withhold not correction from the child. If thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. If thou shalt beat him with the rod, and shalt deliver his soul from hell. My son, if thine heart be wise, my heart shall rejoice, even mine. Yea, my reign shall rejoice, and when thy lips speak right things. Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Hear thou, my son, and be wise, and guide thine heart in the way. Be not among wine-bibbers, among righteous eaters of flesh. For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall cloth a man with rags. Hearken unto thy father and begat, that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old. By the truth and sell, by the truth and sell it not. 
also wisdom and instruction and understanding. The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice, and he that begetteth a wise child shall have joy of him. The father and thy mother shall be glad, and she that bare thee shall rejoice. My son, give me thine heart, and let thine eyes observe my ways. For a whore is, in, is a deep dish, ditch, and a strange woman is a narrow pit. She also lieth in wait for a prey, and increaseth the transgressor among men. Who hath woe? Who hath sorrow? Who hath contentions? Who hath babbling? Who hath wounds without cause? Who hath redness of eyes? They that tarry long at the wine, they that go to seek mixed wine. Look not thou upon the wine when it is red, when it giveth his color to the cup, when it moveth itself all right. But at the last it biteth like a serpent, and stingeth like an adder. Thine eyes shall behold strange women, and thine heart shall utter perverse things. Yea, thou shalt be as he that lieth down in the midst of the sea, or as he that lieth down lieth upon the top of a mast. They have stricken me, shalt thou say, and I was not sick. They have beaten me, I sh and I felt it not. When I shall, when shall I awake? I will seek it yet again. Chapter twenty four. Be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them, for the heart studieth destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. Through wisdom is a, though wisdom is a house, builded, and by understanding it is established. And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong, yea, a man of knowledge increases strength. For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war, and in multitude of counsellors there is safety. Wisdom is too high for a fool, he openeth not his mouth in the gate. He that deviseth to do evil shall be called a mischievous person. The thought of foolishness is sin, and the scorner is an abomination to men. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. If thou forbear to deliver them that are drawn unto death, and those that are ready to be slain. If thou sayest, Behold, he knew it not, doth not he that pondereth the heart consider it? And he that keepeth thy soul, doth not he know it? And shall not render unto every man according to his works? My son, eat thou honey, because it is good, and the honeycomb, which is sweet to thy taste. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul, when thou hast found it, then there shall be a reward, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. Lay not wait, O wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteous, spoil not his resting place. For a just man falleth seven times, and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Rejoice not when thine enemy falleth, and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth. Lest the Lord see it, and, dis and it displease him, and he turn away his wrath from him. Fret not thyself because of evil men, neither be thou envious at the wicked. For there shall no reward to the evil man, the candle of the wicked shall be put out. My son, fear thou the Lord and the King, and meddle not with them that are given to change. For their calamity shall rise suddenly, and who knoweth the ruin of them both? These things also belong to the wise. It is not good to have respect of persons in judgment. He that saith unto the wicked, Thou art righteous, him shall the people curse, nations shall abhor him. But to them that rebuke him shall the be delight, and a good blessing shall come upon them. Every man shall kiss his lips that giveth a right answer. Prepare thy work without, and make it fit for thyself in the field, and afterwards build thine house. Be not a witness against thy neighbor without cause, and deceive not with thy lips. Say not, I will do, do so to him as he hath done to me. I will render to the man according to his work. I went by the field of the slothful, and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding. And lo, it was all grown over with thorns and nettles, and covered with the face thereof, and the stone wall thereof was broken down. Then I saw and considered it well. I looked upon it and received instructions. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want is as an armed man. Chapter 25 These are also proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah king of Judah copied out. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. The heaven for height and the earth for depth, and the heart of kings is unsearchable. 
Take away the dross from the silver, and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Take away the wicked from before the king, and his throne shall be established in righteousness. Put not forth thyself in the presence of the king, and sit in not in the place of great men. For better it is that it, sh it be said unto thee, Come up hither, for the then thou then that thou shouldest be put lower in the presence of the prince whom thine eyes have seen. Go not forth hastily to strive, lest thou know not what to do in the end thereof, when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, and discover not a secret to another, lest he that heareth put it to shame, and thine infamy turn not away. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pictures of silver. As an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold, so is a wise reprover upon an obedient ear. As the cold of snow in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to them that send him, for he refresheth the soul of his masters. Whoso boasteth himself as a false gift is like clouds and wind without rain. By long forbearing is a prince persuaded, and a soft tongue breaketh the bone. Hast thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. Withdraw thy foot from thy neighbor's house, lest he be weary of thee, and so hate thee. A man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a maul, and a sword, and a sharp arrow. Confidence is an unfaithful man in time of trouble, is like a broken tooth, and a foot out of joint, as he that taketh away a garment of cold weather. And as vinegar upon nitre, nitre, so is he that singeth songs to the heavy heart. If thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat, and if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord shall reward thee. The north wind driveth away rain, so doth an angry countenance of, by, back by, of a backbiting tongue. It is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop than with the brawling woman in the wide house. As cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. A righteous man falling bef down before the wicked is as a troubled fountain and a corrupt spring. It is not good to eat much honey, so for men to search of their own glory is not glory. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls.